Good morning YouTube. Now, this is Chuck Gentles again. We are just getting ready to load the trailer to go to the desert and do some dry washing. And we had a monster rainstorm go through the desert and we got a little snow up here so here I am. I'm back in the shop again. So what we're going to do today is we're going to take care of this microwave that doesn't work. I picked this up for free at a at a yard sale. Um, haven't done one in a while. I think I've done three before, but uh, we're going to get after this one and take it apart and get the goodies out of it. And I've already cut the, uh, the cord off the back and I get the brass out of the off the plug and uh, and then I take the, uh, the cord itself and I don't bother tearing it down. I just use it as uh, insulated wire and do it that way and get what we get for it. It's too much effort to tear that all the way down. So so anyhow, let's get after this thing and I'll be back in a minute. Guys, I run into a little problem right off the bat and I thought I had one of these but I don't. These are safety screws and they're the star, I can't remember what you call them, but they've got the pin in the center. And I thought I had one of those, but I don't. So what we're going to do is use a cold chisel. And I've already done it on two. That one's gone down below. And you can't see him because I'm zoomed in too far. So we'll just do this. You can see that one's gone. And if you look over here, that one is gone also so that's the one right let's see where am I at here right there is gone so I'm going to take the one out up here on the top no it's it's a little bit of screwing around but when you don't have the tool you do a bush fix these are called so that's what we're going to do a bush fix maybe I hope so supposed to but okay still gonna go there it is a little harder than I thought it was going to be on that one but uh, that's three out of the four so let me get this other one out and uh, we'll see if we can get this cover off I guess not sure exactly what's wrong with this thing, but uh, got those chiseled off, those screws here, and some the edges here. So that's scrap steel. I got some insulated wire here. This is where I took the plug off. And he'll want plug from here, I think. Yeah, maybe not. Get some pliers on that. Nice little cord, nice coil. Waveguide, miscellaneous uh, wire here. There's a fan in here somewhere, right there. There's a fan motor. Okay. Alrighty. So we'll, uh, looks like this got really hot here. Don't know why. But uh, we'll take care of it. Okay. Be back. All right guys, microwaves to me are just relatively easy. Uh, this is the cord that was stuck in the back. And I'll break this plastic off of here. Get that. Now I've got this uh, little clicks on switch. And we'll get him off of there. I'm assuming that that's tin, but I'll check it to make sure. And it's this cut. <laughs> Cut Come up here. Get the needle nose. And unplug it. We'll cut the ends off of that. So that's going to be wire. A lot of wire in these. Uh, a lot of it's not very big wire, but 
that's okay, you know, it all adds up. Get this stuff out of the wiring harness. Here and there. Maybe this one will come out of that plug. And this one's down here, one screw. So this, all the screws are going to go to steel. Um, always the wire can go into it. And, uh, until the stuff is hard to get to. This guy. Right here. These are all plugged in. Whatever piece of cake usually. You can just follow them around. Take them off where you think they go. And if they don't come, you just bring them around. So there's that one here. This one. These all will come out of the plug. Maybe. Maybe. Okay, what do we got here? We got nothing much, it's a little switch. A screwdriver pop that out. Do that, all wire. This is wire, let's cut the ties. Yeah, the brace kind of limits me a little bit here, so I have a little bit more problem than usual. Wire pile is getting bigger. I mean, this is small stuff, but you know, it all counts. Let's get a screw in that somewhere. All right, yeah. all right, guys, I pulled this card out here. That's this one. It's got a couple relays on it and this nice copper coil here. This is a really good coil. A lot of copper. That's about it for that card. It's not a, much of a card. I've got, uh, if you look down here, I think you can see here. These little micro switches, I got three of those. I'd, uh, I usually don't keep those. I get rid of them. But all this is wire so far that I got. Um, there's a lot of these little clicks on switches and whatnot here that uh, I'll take this guard out and <clears throat> maybe here so we can get this guard out. There's another card inside here. I don't know if you can see where am I at here. Yeah, there's another card inside of here. And this is the card for, I call these waveguides, but uh, you can call them whatever you want to. But that's what I call them, so. Well, anyhow, I'm going to get a couple screws out of this here. And we'll, uh, I'll get a waveguide in first, maybe. So that's all that's the light bulb. Um... There might be a teeny bit of brass on that, I don't think so, though. So that'll go to scrap. This guy will go to scrap. And that's just a wave guide that I can't get out yet. So let's, uh, let's take this loose. A little bit of sheet metal on these, but not much. Let's see, we've got a metal tab there. Hold that down. There, we got a metal tab here. Let's see what do we got back here? We got a plastic one. Okay. Oh, I did a screw here, but I can't get the top off. I guess I another metal tab right there. That's it. Okay, we'll just wait.
Okay, we'll get from the other side. Be back. All right, guys, so these pried out. That's kind of what I thought was going to happen. You know, this is all plastic stuff on this Panasonic. So there's the wires for that. There's the, the motor, the pulling motor that was down below here. And it looks like two screws, and we ought to get that loose. Now let's do that. There's a motor, there's a plane, there's a departure, we'll take it out later. This is the power supply. Let's see what we got. We got one wire here. There that is. And another screw there. And there's two. And there's two. Let's see. Okay. There's the motor. There's a lot of good stuff on my place. And the motor's a little bit too. We still have to have a power supply. Like that. That's awesome right there. If you look at this guy, this is all right here. Right there. That's all that we need to take. So this is the middle. This is the screw. I think it's all the same. There you go. That's good. That's good. Let's see if I can do these. Nice, I mean, that little hole there for me. Here we go. Wow. I forgot to leave that. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, the radiation got to this stuff. We burned a hole right through it. I've got another way got over there, too, from one of the other ones I've done, but it never looked like that. Woo! Yikers. All right. This one will definitely have to come apart. Okay, so now I've got just got junk everywhere here, so I'll probably start tearing this down and get the wire out of here first. Then we'll go to the copper. This is like my trial for always with one screw. And then I'm going to make it out. I'm not much of a circuit card, guys. So, what I do is break them out just like I showed you. At least, two guys think they're on the heat sink. Okay. Let's check these out. I'm not exactly sure what these are. I'm not electronics guy. So, nice little aluminum heat sink, though. That's awesome. Risk of electrical shock. Hmm. Alrighty, I'll be back. There's some of the insulated wire. It's 2.8 ounces, which isn't a lot, but it's some. It'll go in the insulated wire bucket. I'm going to get that off of there. If I can do it in one grip. Yep. Now we're zero. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> that aluminum heat sink is also 2.8 ounces. All right, so we've got that much aluminum, that much copper so far, little stuff. Uh, the big copper we haven't got yet, so be back. Well, guys. I didn't uh, show taking this, uh, this is the sides and the top here on the floor, so that's the sheet metal. And I didn't show taking this panel off the front because all these were just screws. So I mean, you just look for the screws and you take them off and then you get it out. But this isn't too bad, this card, this is a rather nice piece here. I don't think it's stainless, I think it's... Uh, Tin. <laughs> yes, it is. So it's tin. That's the last one that fell out. Uh, this has a nice card in it, though. Uh, there's a transformer here that I want. Another relay looking thing here. And a big chip here. But I've got to take all these screws out to do that. So uh, that'll be the next thing to do is take that out. And we'll try to get the door off, get the bottom off. And we're done. You know, we got, eh, we'll probably have 45 minutes. So, okay, be back. All right, guys, so got the two cards out. They're over here. This is the, the switches for the, uh, the push buttons. And there's one chip on the back. This one has a relay and a transformer and another relay. So I'll take that for sure. Uh, this is tin. I thought maybe it would be stainless, but uh, no, it's it's uh, it's just tin. I may pay, spend a couple minutes trying to get that off, but other than that, I'm not going to. So then, all we have is the uh, the inner steel shell and the outer steel shell. The, the, I'm sorry, the bottom shell. So. So that's what we got left up here, and we'll be done. Be back in a minute. All right, guys, a couple screws, and the bottom here came off. Uh, the sides are already off. I showed you before. But what I forgot was the, uh, the rotator motor on the bottom. 
Here there's just one little bitty screw holding it in and I should be able to just get it out of there. So there's a little motor. And I mean a little motor. <laughs> I don't even know if it's worth taking that far. Here we go. So then we gotta get the door off and that's just breaking off the hinge. And um, that's it. And this is all metal. And I'll probably, I might cut this apart. Just because it's too big. My yard doesn't like that kind of stuff. Unfortunately. Okay. If I find anything else interesting, I'll be back. Alright guys, we're going to weigh up a little bit of the steel. Now this is, uh, my yard calls this prepared steel in that it's in small pieces and this will go in a bucket actually is what it, where it will go but so this is going to be screws and whatnots like that if it doesn't go everywhere like it did. So. That's some of it. You know, it's 4.2 ounces there. Okay, so there's 5.6 ounces of miscellaneous uh, prepared steel, and not counting the case and the interior, so that's steel also. So there's a little bit of steel, not much. Be back. Well, guys, this is what we're down to. We got. Uh, all this to be taken apart now. This is copper. Uh, more copper here, more copper here. Uh, a lot more copper there. And I just wanted to get your thoughts on this. This is the, uh, I call this a waveguide for a microwave. But notice what happened to the end of this. It's blown out. Right here. And uh, I still think it's probably safe to take apart, and uh, the magnets are still in here and all that, but uh, I just wanted to get your opinion on that, what, what you think. I probably won't tear this down until I get a couple comments on this one, and we figure out what the heck is, uh, has happened here and what I can do to get the rest of it apart. But uh, for now, we're just going to leave that alone. All right, guys, just a couple things. Uh, I started taking some of these cards apart and what you see here is the brass. These are all wire connectors of some sort or another. Fuse, fuse holders. These are all brass. So I collect them. This one was off of uh, this card and it uh, is steel. So that will go in the steel pile. These are, I misspoke, these are capacitors. Those aren't uh, relays. This was a relay. And this is what was inside of it. Nice copper coil. Um, if you look, yeah. You can see the contacts for the relay right here. And those are silver. This is the little one. Uh, and when I take them apart, I just take them and put them on something hard and whack them with either the a pair of pliers or a hammer and break the shell and, and then just dump everything out and, and go from there so just keep it simple now most of these now I got they haven't taken this coil off yet this one here uh, I did take this one off much bigger much heavier compared to this one bigger wire and everything so we'll get that one uh, busted down here shortly um, this has a nice chunk of copper on it, uh, very small wire. This will probably, I might be able to get number one on that, I don't know. We'll, we'll give it a go and see. So anyhow, that's what I'm doing. Moving back. Okay, that's how I uh, do these copper coils like this. Uh, I put them on, a, on the edge of the vise and hit them with a hammer and break this plastic and it's, it covers the uh, core here and that's magnetic which I really don't care about uh, I mean you can probably throw it in your your scrap steel and then you can just unpeel this wire you know it's pretty well I was going to say it's pretty easy at times but anyhow that's, that's how I do these and this is varnished wire so I'm thinking number two probably, but it, then it makes it so much easier to get the wire off. And this will just be wadded up, 
and be done here in a second. And I'll go to number two. There that is. Where's my magnet? Yeah, see there? That's that is magnetic. Okay, be back. Alright guys, uh, this is how I take this apart with all this wire. You can see the wire right here, but it still has the core in it right there. So we'll just do a little snippy. Like so. And maybe it's almost ready to come out. You can see it's loose here. Once I get this out, uh, then I can just pull that wire right off the off the edge there. So, so anyhow, that's what we're going to do. We're going to try to. I'm not sure exactly how we're going to try to do it. There's another part of it. And I didn't break it. Just this comes out. So now, break that. And we just pull that off. So this is a small wire, but there's a lot of it on here. So in a few seconds, it'll take that off. To get to take that off, now it'll be well worth it. And this is. This smaller wire. All right, be back. Okay, guys, this is the uh, number two that we got out of that. It's uh, almost two ounces, 1.8. Not much. Uh, this is the number one. Uh, we got right at two ounces, 1.8 <laughs> again. Interesting. All right, that's it for copper.